Good morning everyone, it's Maria here with you today and I am back to share with you a process video of a card that we are going to make today. One project is not enough so I'm going to show you some ways on how to stretch your stamps and also use it for your planner. I will be showcasing a bunch of products from Cat Scrap in a store and the stamp set that I'm using today is this Gerda Steiner Designs. This is called Llama Tell You. I showed this on my haul video and I'm going to use this fancy stitch scallop die from Cat Scrappiness, one of my favorites at the moment, and this double stitch rectangle stacks also from Cat Scrappiness, and then I will be using this simple stitch hillside border from Lawn Fawn. So if you guys are interested to see how I made the card and decorate the planner, then please keep watching. I'm going to use my stamping tool here, also available at Cat Scrappiness, and I'm going to stamp my images on Nina Solar White cardstock. And then I'm not going to show you all of my Copic coloring, I'm just going to show you one because I have used the same Copic markers for all of the llamas. And I'm just trying to blend all the colors here, so I'm working with my darker Copic marker now, and then I'm going to blend that with my lighter Copic markers. And then I'm going to use R46 for the tongue and R00 for the cheeks. Now I'm going to show you the Copic markers that I have used to color the cacti. I didn't show you the coloring process because it's just simple Copic coloring. And then over here I just showed you my colorless blender. I just used it a little bit on my llama to give it a little bit more of a dimension. I'm going to use the coordinating dies to die cut the images and I'm just using my post-it tape here to keep them in place. And here are the images that I have die cut, just showing you here a little bit. Now I'm going to use my fancy stitch scallop rectangle die and I will create a frame for my card front. I'm going to die cut the fancy stitch scallop border die first using my Nina Solar White. And then I'm going to use the double stitched rectangle stacks to cut out the middle portion to create the frame for my card and I will just show you here real quick on what it looks like. I also use the same double stitch rectangle die to die cut this Nina Desert Storm cardstock and then using the Lawn Fawn hillside border I'm going to die cut two hills for my card and over here I'm just showing you how I was playing with the layout of the card. I wasn't really sure yet of what the card is going to look like. Now to give my frame a little bit of a lift, I am going to use my Scotch foam adhesive and adhere that to the frame, just cutting it into thirds. And then for my front panel, I'm going to distress my background using my Tim Holtz Distress Ink with my blending foam here. This is my way of distressing my background. I just have more control of the colors on the cardstock using this method. Not very good with the blending tools yet by Tim Holtz. I'm still practicing, but for me to get a good impression or some good coloring on my background, I just have more control using my blending foam. Now that I have all of my components ready, I'm just going to put the card together and leave you with some music and let you enjoy the process video.
here is the card again. I really love how this turned out. It's so simple, but it's really cute. And this is perfect to give to any of your crazy friends. I thought this was really funny. And then, of course, to stretch your stamps and use them up, I also showed you how I decorated this planner. And the reason why I use my Tombow markers, it's because you can tell the difference between the Tombow and the Copic. The Tombow didn't really bleed as much as the Copic marker. So it turned out really cute. So I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful and got inspired today. If you like the projects that I showed you, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I will be linking all of the supplies that I have used in the description box below. And I will see you on my next crafting project. Bye for now and have an amazing day.